Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase with Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. So today we have the new Liat 2.5 helmet. If you're shopping for just a good helmet that's going to be under $150, I would say this is a really good option. So for me, when I tried it on, a couple things that I noted right away is one, it felt very comfortable. The fitment was right on for me in a size medium, but also super lightweight, a size large in this helmet. So it's a polycarbonate shell. There's three different shell sizes to give the best fit possible depending on your head size. But a size large was two pounds, 12 ounces on the scale. That is super lightweight for any helmet. And that is something that you are going to notice when you put this on, I think it's just how lightweight it is. And if you're doing longer rides, you're all day on the bike and you have a helmet on, you know, you're really going to notice that weight saving. So props to Liat for making a helmet in that price range that is so lightweight. What's also nice too about the 2.5 is that they're still using their 360 turbine technology. We'll talk more about that later on, but that is what they've been using in all their helmets for years now, including their 9.5, their 8.5, their premium helmets. They've taken that technology and put it into the 2.5 as well. Now they have a lot of helmets in their lineup. There's this, there's the 3.5, 7.5, the 8.5, and a 9.5. I'll talk about the differences between the helmets just to give you kind of a general overview to help you decide maybe which one might be best for you as I go through and I talk about that. But little 360 view here, so you're DOT compliant. You're also the new ECE 22.06 certification, which is new. So nice to see that they're compliant to that as well. All right, so let's talk about the 2.5 here. Like I said, the fitment, very comfortable helmet. So fitment for me was true to size. Keep in mind, we do have our fit guarantee. If you buy this helmet, and this goes for any helmet that we sell, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. What I recommend is two things actually. Anytime you get any new helmet, take the cheek pads out and then put the helmet on. Because a lot of times it's deceiving. You might think a helmet fits too tight because maybe the cheek pads are pretty snug, but you gotta remember that helmets, the pads will always break in a little bit. But if you take the cheek pads out, that will just give you a more true understanding of how the helmet fits in the crown of your head, which is very, very important. So you do that and then also put the helmet on and you know, leave it on for a little while inside your house. That's gonna let you know if there are maybe any hot spots or pressure points that you might not feel right away when you first put the helmet on. So a couple things to note there, but all right. So like I said, a lot of cool colorways to choose from in the 2.5. Let's talk about the venting on here. So if you look at it, you've got a big vent right here on the chin bar. You've got a couple of vents here underneath the visor. And then if you look at the top here, you've got two exhaust vents here, and then you have some exhaust vents here on the back as well. Now going from the 2.5 to the 3.5, here's one of the notable differences. With the 3.5, you're gonna have just a little bit more venting, and I believe it's just one extra vent that you're gonna get right here on the side of the helmet. And then with the 3.5, you have an adjustable visor, I'll talk about that here in just a moment. And also the 3.5 does come with a pair of goggles included, I believe it's the Liat 4.5 goggles. So if you're looking to get a new set of goggles, Check out the 3.5, the 7.5, the 8.5, 9.5, because all those helmets come with a goggle included. But that's your venting. We'll show the EPS liner here in just a little bit. As far as the visor goes, it's not adjustable. For some riders, that might be a deal breaker. For some riders, it might not matter all that much. But like I said, if you jump up to the 3.5 and the other helmets, those visors do have some adjustability as far as forward and back. But what's nice though is that they do have a breakaway visor design. So right here in the center or on the sides, I'll pull one out for you just to show you. So you just have these little snaps. So if you go down, what you want is you don't want the visor to add any additional forces or any additional torque to your head or to your neck. So by allowing the visor to break away, it's gonna help reduce that. But what's nice about this design though, and not just having plastic screws that could shear off, is that if the visor breaks off, most likely you're gonna be able to grab the visor and then just line those back up. See if I can do it here from the side and pop the visor back in. All right, so talked about the vents that you have there. Now let's take a look at the inside here. So we'll undo this chin strap real quick. So if I pull the cheek pads out, here is one thing that I wanted to talk about with the cheek pads. So, as I mentioned earlier, the fit, super comfortable. And these cheek pads and the comfort liner that they're using, is a nice soft material, it's moisture wicking. You can throw these in the washer, hand wash them, just let them air dry. 
But what I noticed though is that the padding on these cheek pads, and this is also talking to other riders here at Rocky Mountain that I had to try the helmet on, we noticed that this, the foam that they're using in here is really soft. And it's, you know, just compared to other helmets that I've worn, because I've worn just about every helmet, um, it's a lot softer than I was expecting. And the only thing that I could think might be a concern for some riders is that, you know, cheek padding, whether it's soft or firm, is gonna break in a little bit. And so this to me, might be almost be a little bit too soft because when these break in, you might feel like the helmet's a little bit looser than you want it to be. But I'm just speculating. I haven't spent time in the helmet, so just take that for what it's worth. But just something I noticed there. Now, as far as the comfort liner goes, let me pull this out. So you've got a couple snaps just back here on the back, and then this front piece just pops out. So there are no snaps in the front of the comfort liner. And I know that a reason that a lot of companies do that is just so that you don't have those snaps on the brow area where you could get a pressure point. And then you can see there are a lot of cutouts on this comfort liner, which is nice. That's just gonna help promote airflow when you have the helmet on. Okay, so looking at the inside here, so you do have a multi-density EPS liner, but then you can see you have these little blue circles here. Those are the 360 turbines that I mentioned earlier. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So. Like I said, Liat's using this technology now for a lot of years. They have it in their premium helmets as well. But these do two important things. One, these little turbines, they help absorb linear impact. So just straight up and down when you have a hard hit, it's gonna help absorb some of that energy. But they also help with the rotational energy. And so think of like MIPS liner system. Everyone's familiar with that. It's gonna help the head slip a little bit inside the helmet. These are accomplishing the same thing, just a different way to do it. And Liat actually kind of throws out a, uh, throw out a couple numbers they say that it will reduce brain acceleration up to 30% and then brain rotational acceleration up to 40%. So, you know, think about your head. You have your, your fluid inside your skull, which is there to protect your brain when you have those impacts. Just give me some, you know, of a cushion. That's a similar thing that these 360 turbines are there to do. So, like I said, it's cool that they're taking the technology from the premium helmets putting it also into the 2.5. Now, if you were looking at the 7.5 and the 8.5 and the 9.5, which is their full carbon helmet, wondering, well, what are the major differences between this and those as far as safety goes, since you are getting the turbines in this? Well, with those, they use a four-piece multi-density EPS liner and a few other things just to maximize the impact absorption and the safety of a helmet. And another big thing that you see as you work your way up in the numbers is more ventilation with the helmet as well. So if you ride in hot conditions, inventing is something that's really important to you, then maybe it is worth looking at some of the other options in their lineup. And like I said too, not with the 2.5, but the 3.5 and their other helmets, you do get a set of goggles with those when you buy them. So you kind of get the two for one special there. But that's it, that's the new 2.5 helmet from Liat. So like I said, key takeaways for me, super lightweight, very comfortable. Cool to see that you have those 360 turbines plus the multi-density EPS liner on the inside. So if you have questions or comments about this helmet or any other helmet from Liat or any helmet in, you know, in general for that matter, I am more than happy to answer those questions for you. So make sure, leave those down below. To grab your next helmet today, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you wanna stay up to date on these videos and always know what is the latest and greatest from Rocky Mountain, get subscribed, hit the notification bell. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.